Ho, ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. There's a sailfish. Already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on. Another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pittman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12- and 24-volt electric deep drop, dredge, and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability, and power. Motor guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Hi, and welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, and we've got a really sick show in store for you. We are headed over to West End, Grand Bahama Island. Myself, our co-host, Captain Carlos Rodriguez, close friend of mine, Kyle Shea, we're jumping aboard our Mercury-powered CV390Z, leaving early tomorrow morning, zipping across the stream, right to Old Bahama Bay, checking in with customs and immigration, making our way around the corner to Blue Marlin Cove Resort and Marina, our absolutely favorite lodge in the island. You can fish right out front for mutton snappers and strawberry groupers right on the reef, do some jigging. Of course, you can deep drop for queen snappers and groupers in the area as well or you can run right into the channel and look for those blackfin and yellowfin tuna and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to walk you through the whole process using our Furuno TZ Touch radar in the bird mode. We're going to look for flocks of birds, start trolling some small lures, just a couple of rods, all right, just finalizing the tackle here, making sure we're well prepared. We just fish a couple of rods around those packs of birds until we hook up, and then we switch it off into some chunking gear, some lighter outfits. We start chunking with cut bait. Watch us from beginning to end. We're gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna show you how to get hooked up, and we're gonna show you how absolutely exciting this fishery is. Here it is, just got set up, birds everywhere. We've got a couple of trolling lures out. We're just kind of scouting. We're gonna work our way around the birds here, see if we can hook up on the troll. We may, if we read them real good, we may just stop and start chunking, but this is what it's about right here. I mean, if this is not super exciting, you know, you're trolling along, you've got all of these tuna birds working, you know the fish are here. And when we're trolling, we're scouting through here, we're just fishing a couple of lines, two baits. You don't want to put a full spread out because it'll take you too long to bring it all in to then start chunking and fishing baits. So just a couple of trolling lures is really all you need to just scout all around them. I haven't seen him jump yet, but I think his head's full of seaweed. Decent fish or? Feels a little heavy, but I know there's a lot of seaweed on him too. Yeah, there's so a lot of grass on hard there to, right there. Hard to tell. I don't think it's huge, but I think it's the first fish of the day. And we will take it. Broke the ice. Going through the birds here, a lot of grass everywhere. We've got really just an ideal scenario where we've got a combination of different factors that are all coming together. We've got the birds that are working right here going crazy. And not jumping, I think he's got stuff on his head. So, yeah, yeah, it's not so peanut. much water to fish. Big. It's yeah. nice to have a couple different elements that bring it all together. You're gonna gaff him though, probably. Yeah. You got a big hook on you though. So. Yeah, that's a gaffer. Mm -hmm. For sure. Do you have any friends with him? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't see any friends. Pretty little cow. Wow, he's all lit Literally up. changing man. colors. Yep. That fish is lit up. Oh. Fuck. You ready? Let me bring him to you. Yeah. Wow. Keep him in order. He's still green. Yep. Can't get Give him a minute. He sees you, Mike. <laughs> okay. Got him. Lit. Look at those colors. Beautiful. He's uh, gonna go nuts in the boat. 
Beautiful. Wow. If I can get You're my gonna finger catch in the gill. You're going to catch the dolphin mixed in with the tuna. Certainly nothing to matter with that. Nice, beautiful fish. Wow. Beautiful colors. Let's get back on top of these things. Look at that. Epic. Get them on ice and get going? Yeah. Get them on I like ice. it. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. If you're just joining us, we're here in Grand Bahama, West End, spending a few days here fishing. Tell you what, just having an absolutely awesome time. Spent the day yesterday deep dropping, caught some great fish, really, really exciting. And today came out real early to look for the tunas. And the way that this fishery works, you know, if you're unfamiliar with it, you've got to run into the channel here You've got to have a good radar or Ferruno six kilowatt open array is just the perfect tool to find this flock of birds. And you can see them with a whole flock just, just west of us here. And then we're slowly drifting our way into them and just chunking, feeding out chunks. Certainly, you know, you can do this with live bait, but you don't need to. You know, a lot of guys that are crossing over, you know, of course, live bait's going to be an advantage. But if you can't get your hands on live bait, don't stay at the dock. You know, still get out here, get a bunch of sardines, a bunch of chunks, but you're gonna need a lot of them. You know, I'm not talking about one slab. I mean, to prepare accordingly, you know, a couple hundred pounds of bait is really what you're gonna need. And you get on these birds, and not every patch, not every flock is gonna hold the fish that you're looking for, but you gotta fish every flock that you see. Invest a little bit of time, Get a chunk slick going. You know, you read the fish on the machine. You can feed chunks out. You can drop a jig down as well. And some of the flocks, you know, some of the pods are gonna have yellow fins. Some are gonna be blue, uh, black fins and skipjacks. Some are gonna be a mix. Oftentimes the yellow fins are down deeper than the black fins. But again, it's all a matter of putting in the time. Got him. You see that? That's exactly what I was talking about. We stopped, started chunking just feeding the chunks out, and that's him right there. Look at that rod tip. See that right there? That's telltale signs, 100% yellowfin tuna. 100%. It's a yellowfin tuna that just feels like it just got sharked. Maybe not. Ah, 
Oh yeah, I got sharked. See that? I felt it instantly. Nice job. And that's just it. Every time you stop and get your baits out there, two, three shots, and then the fish may sound, they may disappear, and you gotta get on another flock. And it's really a running and gunning type of fishery. And the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. All right? Yeah, I'm good. Man. Okay. He's swimming. There's not a shark on him right now, so it's a good fish. Yep. There he is. I got color. Got color. Yeah, that's the right kind, man. I'm going that way all yep. now. You're underneath him. Blackfin? Oh my God, did you see that amazing gaff shot? <laughs> Your timing was <laughs> did lucky you see there, that? buddy. That no. was just like, zoop! That's him, dude, that's him. Blackfin. Black, yeah. Big blackfin. Sushi. Hey, we don't need to bleed him. Was that on a chunk? Yeah. Look at that, that VMC, look at that circle hook right there. Now that's a little VMC inline 3X circle hook. You want to fish? those heavy duty hooks right there because you're going to hook those powerful fish but notice how small that hook is that's all that you need that's a little 3-0 you know guys will come out here and they'll fish these giant hooks when in reality that's it right there that's all you need perfect perfect fatty <sighs> marine electronics Brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. So we're out here in the channel looking for these tunas and dolphin, skipjacks, black fins. But the key is finding the birds. And Furuno has made it really, really simple with their new TZ Touch flat screens with bird mode. It's just a simple setting. You push one button. You don't have to get the machine dialed in. It's just an automatic setting. And it's kind of... You know, I want to kind of try and explain to you what you're looking at here. You can see the, the little specks. That's a single bird right there. There's a couple more birds that are popping up. There's a couple birds up in that area. There's a pod right down there. A pack of birds. So it takes a little while just to get used to what you're looking at and to get dialed in. But I'll tell you what, what an absolutely invaluable tool. I mean, the naked eyes can only see so far. In bird mode, I have it set at three miles. You can even go out to six miles, but I like to concentrate on that three mile ring. And it really just opens up a whole new world and gives you incredible vision to key in on those flocks. Otherwise you're driving around in circles all day long, just looking and looking and looking. Here, you're gonna save time, you're gonna save money, and you're gonna catch more. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Get your free sample at rejuvenatemarine.com. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. 
With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. That's out. Right there. Oh, I hear that reel, man. That is Tuna fish beautiful. Tuna fishing in the Bahamas, baby. We're yeah. hooked up. Just hitting pot after pot of birds. That's it. We finally got on the right pod. That's what you got to do. You just got to keep working it. I'm straight up and down right here, Kyle. Nice. I'm stretched out a little bit. All He's right. going down. You know, when you come out here, you got to be ready for everything in the Bahamas. How far into the line were you when you hit it? Go ahead, Cap. Oh. All right. Doubled up, baby. I'm going here, go under, under this way. Keep going. Keep going that way. Just trying to keep the line tight. He ran off a good long run at the beginning, so we know it's the right one. And now he's a little heavy. Hopefully we get him in a little circle and just wench him up. We got a double here. We want to keep the chum slick going and try to keep his friends around. So hopefully- Somebody move just this like popping rod for me, please. Stay away. Just like dolphin. Yeah, we both these and get some more. Oh. Watch, watch it. So you're gonna oh, hook yourself, come on. dude. My fault. Just tuna, dude. That's what I'm I did doing. that. Now we just try to get these. I don't think it's a monster, but hopefully get them past the sharks, man. The sharks have been so bad these last couple of years. They take half your catch. All right, get a gap. Get a gap. I'm coming, I'm coming. Where you at? Where you at? Well, that's a good wish. Pull him up. <laughs> Hold on. I, I gotta get on that side of you, Mike. I can't, I can't, see, I can't get leverage him on this side, dude. You're not done. Strong, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's a good fish. <laughs> Come on, get on this side, right here, dude. Get your shot, right here. Get your shot, right here, right here, right here. Hold on, hold on. I got you. If that rod wasn't there, I would have been able to. I got him, I got him, I got him. I got Get him. him. Get him. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Got him. Got him. Coming at us. You need to put another line out. You go ahead, go ahead and fish Carlos. I got him. I'll All take right. care of him here. You may want to put a sardine on there. You keep chunking and fishing. Just get Chunk. get ready yep. with the gaff, Mike, for him. Get the gaff here. I got this one. He's a little guy, but we'll take him. You ready? Yeah, he's going to do a circle. He's right there. Right there, nice and tired for you in the head. Okay. Lay him on the deck. Let's get more. Ready? Get oh, they're the under deck. the boat. Yeah, they're literally under the boat. I have the chum going. Yeah. This is, this is what we're after right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you! Yeah, baby. Fish is 40 pounds. 45. Oh, oh sorry, I got you messed up. <laughs> a pair of them. We're tight on one, and just bow in a pair. Right there. Nice. Pro's tip, brought to you by Pelagic. High performance offshore gear. You can see when I'm letting my line out here, I like to keep the rod right in the rod holder. Chunk slicks are floating out away from the boat, nice steady pace. My chunk is floating out and I'm just constantly feeding the line out. I want that, you know, I want that chunk to flow naturally with all the other chunks, but you don't want just a giant bow of line in the water, so you gotta just kind of feel it out, let it drift out, a couple more feet. When you get a bite and line just starts screaming off the reel, just nice and easy push that lever up and let that circle hook do its job and catch right in the corner of the mount. You don't need to lift up the rod and swing back and do any kind of 
Roland Martin Bass Masters crazy kind of Saturday morning stuff. <laughs> That's not what this is about. This is about finesse and get them hooked up, you know, just do it right. When you don't see the chunks anymore, chunk some more. You know, it's almost like you, you can't chunk too much because they'll eat them. You know, one tuna fish will come through and eat 50 chunks. One fish. Now imagine an entire pack. Don't see any on the machine, but just because we don't see them doesn't mean they're not here. They may be at the end of the slick there eating. Down to the back in here, to the braid, I've got our little Allo Technos 20s loaded with 500 yards of 50 pound braid. Actually, it's probably about 700 yards of 50 pound braid. On top of that, 150 feet of 50 pound diamond line monofilament and 50 feet of 50 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. And to that, that VMC 3.0 inline circle hook, 3X, you're good to go. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. on the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. The secret's out. Now you can show off a great catch with a trophy smile for a fraction of the cost. Vacation in Costa Rica and complete all of your cosmetic and restorative dental needs. Minutes from San Jose, Top Dental Care's ultra-modern facility utilizes the latest technology and only FDA-approved materials. U.S. trained doctors specialize in dental implants, dentures, bridges, crowns, and veneers. And don't forget about family and friends. At Top Dental Care Costa Rica, you don't have to make a great catch to show off a trophy smile. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Boat Outfitters, a huge selection of tackle storage systems to keep you organized and your lines tight. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide on parallel protection and polarization. Oh, wait, drop it? Unless he's swimming right toward me. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he was swimming right toward me. It's a tuna. Oh, yeah, baby. That's him. The one? A little yellow, huh? elephant on the troll, stopped, started chunking, and hooked up. Small fish, not a big deal. I'll get him over here. Little meat mold on the chunk. There we go. More sushi? Oh yeah. Now, of course you could easily tell the difference between those black fins and the yellow fins. Just from the color of the fins obviously the yellow fins are going to be much more gold but i'll tell you what that black fin eats just as good <laughs> anyway, guys, we had an absolutely awesome time here at west end our trip is rapidly coming to a close finished it it's off a with a little bit of bottom fishing yeah, nice mutton nice, nice mutton right on the edge of the reef here that. out front yep there you go nice job take it oh yeah <laughs>
<laughs> How about that? How about that? I'll take it. Yep. Dinner. Beautiful, beautiful color. Oh, gorgeous. He's in that green that. bottom or something different color bottom. He's yep. all pink, He's right? All in, yep. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, we had an absolutely awesome time at Blue Marlin Cove. Had some great bottom fishing. That was a lot of fun. Got in on some nice tuna fishing today. Of course, that's super exciting. Ended the day bottom fishing. Kyle, nice mutton. Again, thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Yep. Drop down another bait, catch another one. We're going to cook that here at Blue Marlin Cove. Beautiful, fry them beautiful up. fish. And I'll tell you, what an adventure it's been. It really has. I mean, we've we've had our mishaps, I'm not gonna lie. You know, and that's gonna happen when you come out here to the islands, you know, expect the unexpected. And certainly we've been handed a dose of that on this trip. But we may do, you know, we, we certainly may do. Kyle, great trip. Thanks for joining us, Carlos. Absolutely. Get on in here, pal. Thank you for having me. Get on in here. That was uh, pretty good. Solid killer. work. Nice work baby. Good nice trip. Yeah. Ended on a mutton, your favorite. That's a good fish right yep. there, too. Pretty fish. That's fitting. a real good fish. Typical Bahamian mutton right there. Nice. So, Beautiful. Don't forget pretty. to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, youtube.com forward slash Florida Sport Fishing. Check out our Extreme Seminar series and get your gear at floridasportfishing.com. We'll see you next week. See ya. Great way to end it. Beautiful. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.